You know, we're an internet technology driven company. Glenn Fogel, energetic, humble, approachable. He runs multi billion dollar business booking holdings, the world's largest online travel company that owns Booking.com, Priceline, Agoda, Kayak, Rental Cars, and Open Table. Without the acquisitions that we've done, we'd be nowhere where we are now. In fact, who knows where we'd be? We'd probably be owned by somebody else who would have acquired us. Formerly called Priceline Group, the company unleashed growth through clever acquisitions. In 2004, it bought Active Hotels and Bookings BV the following year, setting the stage for its extraordinary climb to the top. It was Fogel who led these acquisitions. I was fortunate. I found these guys out of Cambridge uh, University who started this little company called Active Hotels. Yeah. And we talked and talked and eventually said, yeah, they would join with us. And then we found the guys in Amsterdam at mm. Booking. We said, this would be great. It'd be yeah. like, you know, it's like music. You can have a great soloist and it's wonderful, but I think a whole orchestra can produce better music. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like bring more people together, create that big, beautiful orchestra. As the travel giant grew with more acquisitions, so did his career. From corporate development to strategy and planning to CEO in 2017, the group's revenue now exceeds $12 billion. Fogo's next big bet, Asia. Well, everybody I think will say that Asia is the greatest growth area for almost all industries. Now travel even more so. It's going faster than most of the areas of the world. Booking is making aggressive moves in one young but fast-growing market, China. As these people age and get going from young adults or teenagers into young adults and middle age and earn money and then they want to travel, mm -hmm. we need to be there now to help develop these brand habits. Mm. Could it be your biggest travel market? Absolutely, it could be. You've also invested in Chinese top online travel agency C-Trip and consumer platform Meituan Tianping. To what extent have these helped you capture more of the Chinese outbound market, something a non-Chinese travel company like Booking uh, has found it very hard to crack? So one of the reasons we did those investments and one of the reasons both those companies were interested in having us invest and create a relationship is because of our outbound capabilities. Both companies are very interested in making their outbound services more powerful and they recognize that we can bring things to them that will help them. So that's the reason to do that. Um, we believe that there are really three things that are so important for our business being successful in China. And one of them, without doubt, is that outbound business. We need to make sure that we are providing a great service to every single Chinese customer who wants to explore and experience the world. Have you seen an improvement in bookings as a result of the Chinese outbound market? Yeah, absolutely. No, that is an area where we're growing nicely. Our job is to make sure that that Chinese customer, when they think they need a hotel somewhere around the world, or they need a non-hotel, uh, a home, an apartment, we want to make sure that the first thing they think about is using booking or Agoda. Hi, I'm Christine Tan and thanks for watching Managing Asia on CNBC Live. You can check out more of our great content by clicking on the videos on screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the very best in feature programming. Thanks for watching.